so we're moving up into the 21st century now uh, Mr. Charlie let me borrow his magnetic receiver he was up here working on a job so uh, he was nice enough to bring his magnetic excavator receiver so well, he let me borrow that for the week I'm going to get it mounted on the excavator stick so when I'm cutting grade all I got to do is sit the bucket down flat like that and then I'll know that I'm on grade so uh, I'm gonna set the laser up there on top of the hill get my elevations that I need and then go ahead and set that as to where it needs to go. Well, I'm now in the 21st century. Uh, it's on grade right now because, like I said, that's great. Got my bucket flat, so all I got to do is if I pick the boom up, it'll tell me I need to go down. And then I just look for it to start flashing. And then right there's grade. I don't know, I can't push down too much because it, it won't go down any farther. But if it's well, all I gotta do is stick out. And it'll start telling me, oh crap, you're a little low, need to come up. So once you get it dead center right there, as long as you see a nice green flashy light, you're good to go. It should uh, save me a lot of time from getting in and out of the machine on here I've been using it some see the green light flashing in the center right there that's great what I did was you set your bucket down level uh, on a grade that you know is already correct you check it with the stick and then as I cut out you know I'll sit here and hog this out normally I'm putting it in the truck but I've cut this out just to show you real quick and then I know that I check it with the bucket at 90 degrees and flat. So I know I got to cut it down just a smidgen more. Or probably push down. See, now it's low. But, uh, it, I mean, it's not perfect by no means. But it'll get you within two or three inches of probably where it needs to be. Depending on how much you check it. But I'm just trying to hog all this dirt out and get it fairly close then we can come in here and cut out for each individual pad and cut all our drainage ditches out in between them and everything so got a real short haul here uh, moving the crap out of some dirt and it really is nice not to have to get out and check grade every two or three truck loads flashing and everything right now as I'm cycling through the, the dig cycle, the sticks in all sorts of positions, not the right ones, but it's still picking up the laser over there on the hill. Check this one and see how it is. Let's see how I'm doing right here. Looks like I need to go down just a touch, not much. That's probably a plenty. Jump down slow. That's great right there. That was about, I was only about an inch off. But it's just nice to have something just to tell you that so you don't have to get out and check it. Just a smidgen high. 
I gotta look at the prints behind the seat here, but I think it's stair steps down a foot. I'm kind of getting the drainage they need from front to back. So I'll have to, when I make this cut right here, I'll have to get a grade off of one of those stakes and dig it down the grade and then reposition the receiver on the boom there to indicate the correct grade. Which really all I should have to do is slide it up a foot. And then it's going to hit those hoses, so I might have to go let the uh, let the tripod down a little bit. I'll do that. That way, it'd be nice if it was moved down a little bit, just so it's a little. When you're digging, you can't really. You're looking at your bucket teeth, and that's like ten feet higher. I'll see. I gotta play around with it, get used to it, used to it. Oh, baby. Alrighty. So I'm about to round out day number one with the laser, I guess the magnetic receiver on the boom. Or stick, I should say. And uh, I would say that it, uh, it has, it is, it's worth it. You know, just being able to sit right here and know that I'm within a few inches uh, of great just hogging the dirt out. I think it's, it's worth my time. And you can see right there, great. And uh, pretty much what I've been doing is just, I'll have great and I'll just cut it like I think it is. And then uh, once the truck's out of the way, sometimes uh, I got the laser set up on the hill. And uh, sometimes if I pile the dirt up too high in the truck, it blocks the laser beam and I can't get a grade. So uh, I usually just check once he backs up out of the way. But for the most part, you can see your grade while you're cutting, except for I gotta go down right there.
I said back in here beside me under the bucket. Truck driver. So here's the plans on what I'm doing. I'm sitting currently right here. Uh, the second building, which steps down a foot. Um, we've got all this graded out right here. Started fill right here, running it down here. Here is the edge of the retention pond. And I got a stake down here marking this line right here. I just uh, scraped up some topsoil. Benny's on the roller, Tim's on the dozer. I'm actually going to dump a load of topsoil down this line right here to start using for the back slope of that pond dam. And it'll like kind of explain a little better what I've been doing. First row of buildings. Actually, we're only doing phase one right now. These two will not be done right now. They're, it's all going to be a parking lot. But we're doing these four building pads right here now. Uh, I've just cut out this alleyway right here and I've started making this cut at 331 which is a foot lower than these pads and then halfway through the building it steps down another foot to 330 uh, so I get all this cut out today but I uh, figured I'd just show you that real quick we will hop in the dump truck here and I'll kind of take you on a tour of what I've done so far what, what we have done We've been busy, busy the last couple of days. I'll show you what I've been working on. A lot's been cut out. So, that's the end of the first set of buildings. That's the start of the second set. Since Monday, I've cut all this dirt out right here. And pretty much the lift started right there and all that is fill. So I'm actually going to take this topsoil on down to the lower section start building the back wall of the pond dam out of it so you can see how much we've we've put in here or fill it's probably 10 feet deep down there we'll see if I can make it down to that one lonely stake find out I think the brush pile is about ready to burn Let's see if I can get back down there. You'll just have to look forward while I back up. Where are you, little steak? I don't see it in the mirror no more. There we go. It's another mirror. Where did it go? Where did you go? I don't want to run over it. I kind of need it. It took me a while to figure out where it goes. There you are, little lonely steak. Feel like I'm somewhere where I need to be. Looks like a good spot to dump. So you can see how much fill's been put in there. The pond's going to go right here. Without driving over the edge, Tim pushing off that last lift. And I'm cutting the dirt. I need to even that up, make me a little happier. I don't know why it looks like the only thing I've done is even. <laughs> oh, that's about on grade right there. We got to put in about another lift right here, and that should be. About, but you can see the step down on that where the building starts right there as it starts step, stair stepping down the hill but I'm gonna load up another load of this junky topsoil somehow I've been splattered mud all over the side of the machine 
Would you look at that? It's probably the septic line I had to dig in half. That might not be water. That might be poo juice. I had to get Timmy to wipe that off for me. Oh, Tim. Get the poo off my machine. That's exactly what it is. Poo juice. Made pretty good progress today. I started right here where the machines were at. And got everything cut out all the way back. We'll get in here and dress it up with the dozer. And filled over there. So I got everything cut down to here. It's all rutted up from driving a truck around. And then this is where the second unit starts. They go down a foot. So I started cutting that down a little lower and we'll just keep on going back to the mini and the skid steer back there. We should get probably majority of the dirt moved tomorrow. And then once we make sure everything's pretty close, I'll come in here and take all these stakes out. We'll grade all this out to pretty much grade. Then they'll come in here and restake it. Um, and then we'll actually build the actual pads and set our stone and everything for that. And cut our ditches for in between each building. There'll be a little swell right through here.